Hello and welcome back to the course Fundamental of Electronics and Electrical Engineering. In this video lecture, I am going to continue with Unit 1 that is DC circuit. Now, which are the topics I am going to cover? The topic I am going to dis discuss is Ohm's law and series and parallel connection of register and one example based on that. So, let us start with the Ohm's law. Basically, Ohm's law is used to give relationship between voltage, resistance and current. It is used to find voltage drop across the register, across any element in, in electric circuit. Now, what is the statement of the Ohm's law? So, it states that ratio of potential difference V between any two point of the conductor to the current flowing I between, the, between those two point is constant. But under the, sun, under the certain condition. And condition is what? Temperature of the conductor does not change. So, ratio of V and I is equal to constant. So, mathematically we can write V divided by I is equal to constant or V divided by I is equal to R where R is a resistance of the conductor. So, if R is kept constant, current is directly proportional to the potential difference across the ends of the Conductor. So, V is proportional to I. So, we can write V is equal to I R. Here one graph is there. We shows the relationship between voltage and current for a resistor under the constant temperature condition. So, graph is a linear. As the current increases, potential difference across the conductor or resistor increases. Now, Ohm's law has certain limitation. It cannot be applied to every element. Relationship between voltage and current does not apply to non-metallic conductor like silicon carbide. Because the relationship between uh, voltage and current for silicon carbide is given by V is equal to K into I raised to M. Where K and I, where K and M are the constant and M is less than unit. Second limitation is what? It does not apply to non-linear devices such as general diode and voltage regulator tubes. Because diodes and transistors are the non-linear device in which the relationship between voltage and current is not linear. And it is true for metal conductor at condition and condition is what? The constant temperature. It should temperature should remain constant. So, these are the limitation of Ohm's law. It cannot be applied to every device, every element. It is applied to a metal conductor, but the condition is what? The temperature should remain constant. Now, series connection of the register. So, what is the definition of series connection of register? When we can say the registers are connected in series. The DC circuit in which resistors are connected end to end so that there is only one path for the flow of current is known as a DC series circuit and the resistors are said to be connected in series. So, the condition is what? There is end to end connection and there is only one path for the flow of current. If this condition is satisfied then we can say resistors are connected in series. Now, here you can see three resistors are there R1, R2 and R3. Here you can see both all threes are connected in series because one end of the register of 1 is connected to the other end of the register 2. Second end of the register 2 is connected to the first end of the register 3. And there is only one path for the flow of current. Now if we apply the potential different then current will start to flow. And as current is start to flow according to the Ohm's law there is a potential difference across individual resistors, and potential difference are V1, V2 and V3. Now, so we can write V1 is equal to IR1 according to the Ohm's law, V2 is equal to IR2 and V3 is equal to IR3. Now, as per KVL, the voltage V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So, we can write V is equal to I R1 plus I R2 plus I R3. Taking I common from the equation, so V is equal to I in bracket R1 plus R2 plus R3. 
So we can write V divided by I is equal to R1 plus I2 plus R3. Now here you can see this is the equivalent circuit of the given series circuit. Here all these three resistances are replaced by resist, uh, equivalent resistance that is R equivalent. So for this circuit, the ratio of V divided by I can be written as R equivalent. So we can write R equivalent is equal to R1 plus I2 plus R3. So this is the equation of series connected resistor. In terms of statement, we can say the equivalent resistance is sum of individual resistances. If there are n resistance connected in series, so we can write R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus so on plus Rn. Now, which are the conclusion from the series circuit? So, as we define that resist circuit can be a series circuit if there is only one plug for the flow of current. So here same current flows through the all part of the circuit. The second one is different resistance have their individual voltage drops according to the Ohm's law and voltage drops are V1, V2, V3. Voltage drops are additive means total voltage across the three registers are voltage drops across register 1 plus voltage drop across register 2 plus voltage drop across register 3. Applied voltage equals the sum of different voltage drops. Registers are also additive because R equivalents are R1 plus R2 plus R3. Powers are also additive. So these are the all conclusion from series connected register. Now moving towards the parallel connection of register. What is the definition? When one end of each register is joined to a common point and other end of the resistance is joined to another common point, so there, there are many, as many as plugs for the flow of current, then it is known as a parallel circuit. So here you can say three registers are connected in parallel, that is R1, R2 and R3. Now you can see one end of each registers are connected to this common point and other ends are connected to this common point. All these registers are connected across battery of potential V. Now as battery is connected, then current will start to flow. And as current will start to flow, the current will be divided because there are number of branches. So current I gets divided into the three currents that is I1, I2 and I3. Now I1 is a current flowing through register R1, I2 is a current flowing through register R2 and I3 is a current flowing through the register R3. So according to Ohm's law, we can write I1 is equal to V divided by R1, I2 is equal to V divided by R2, I3 is equal to V divided by R3. Now total current I can be written as I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now putting this value of I1, I2, I3 in this equation, so we can write I is equal to V divided by R1 plus V divided by R2 plus V divided by R3. Now taking V common, we can write I divided by V is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. And if we draw, you can see here, if we draw the equivalent circuit of these three resistance, which is denoted by RP, then from this circuit, we can write I divided by V is equal to RP. So we can write 1 upon Rp is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. So how we can read this equation? So we can read that, we can say that reciprocal of equivalent resistance for parallel connected resistance is given by sum of reciprocal of individual resistances. Now which are the conclusion for parallel connected resistance? So first one is the voltage across each register is same because all are connected in parallel and parallel only one volt only one battery is connected across each register so voltage across each register is same. The current through any register is inversely proportional to its resistance because I is equal to V divided by R. The total current in this circuit is equal to sum of the current in each parallel branches. The reciprocal of total resistance is equal to the sum of reciprocal of individual resistances. Now, as the number of parallel branches increases, total resistance of the circuit decreases because 
1 upon R P is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. So as the number of branches increases, total equivalent resistance decreases. But in the case of series connected resistance, if the total number of resistance increases, then equivalent resistance also increases. The total resistance of the circuit is always less than the smallest resistance of the resistance. If there are n resistance and each of the value of each resistance is R, which are connected in parallel, then total resistance is given by Rp is equal to R divided by n. Now, one example based on series and parallel connection resistance. So, here you can see three resistance are connected as shown in figure and find the resistance between point A and point B. Now, this circuit looks like a complex circuit, but if we draw the equivalent circuit of this, then it becomes very easy. So, what we can see here, one end of each register is connected to common point A. Now, for these registers, one end is connected to A, now D is also connected to A, and so both these registers end are also connected to point A. Similarly, one end is connected to point B. So, if we redraw this circuit, then all the registers are connected in parallel because one end of each register is connected to point A and A and D are shorted point, B and C are the shorted point and other ends of the all registers are connected to point B. So what we can write according to the parallel uh, resistance equation? So we can write 1 divided by RAB is equal to 1 divided by R plus 1 divided by R plus 1 divided by R. So, 1 divided by RAB is equal to 3 divided by R. So, RAB is equal to R by 3 ohm. So, this is the equivalence resistance for this given circuit. So, this is all about the today's video lecture. In this video lecture, I have discussed Ohm's law, series and parallel connection of resistance and one example based on series and parallel connection of the resistance. Hope you enjoy the video. See you soon in the next video of DC circuit. Thank you for watching.